How's it going gents? Here we are today in a swamp next to a canola flower field. Today we're looking at a very cool helmet. This is a smart helmet. Uh, now there's been a couple of smart helmets around. I've seen Senna's made one. A couple other companies have made one with like reverse cameras and a few other things. Um, I've never really been too keen on them. Like even the Senna one, like I've liked Senna's products, but I thought their smart helmet with the camera wasn't the best, but this helmet here, the Foresight M1KS, I hope that's correct. Um, Mcomway M1KS is their new carbon fiber smart helmet. Now I'll explain what a smart helmet is. I'm out here on my KDM 500. Um, my other bikes, it's not really the kind of dirt bike helmet, but I'm just banging around on the road on my 500 because um, my other bikes are in pieces right now. Um, but what a smart helmet is, is it's an inbuilt, I mean, you can add any smart features to a helmet. You know, you can buy a Senna, you can buy a GoPro, you can buy a whole bunch of things and wire it in and, and, and have it all clipped on and sticky taped on and everything. But in my mind, a smart helmet is a helmet that's got all that built in. Out of the box, charge it, turn it on, and it's ready to go. And this is what this helmet is. And it's it's actually really good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, so. What this helmet's got is it's got built-in Bluetooth speakers, so you can listen to music, take your phone calls, do all of that, all built into the in the helmet. It's Harm, Harman Kardon speakers. They're decent. They're not like, you know, they're not as good as a, you know, a really good pair of headphones or anything, but for inside helmet uh, speakers, I think they're fine. They're loud enough. I've sat at 100Ks an hour, the 500's pretty loud, and um, I could hear pretty well. So um, the speakers are good. Um, what it's also got is an inbuilt camera right down there. You can see flush mounted. Look at that. Really nice. I know Senna did one. They did one on the top and I've seen other ones at the back so you can see behind you and stuff. But this is a 1080p 60 frame camera perfectly built in like really nice. Um, I actually really like how, how well they've made that. I mean, it's a good looking helmet. This is a gloss carbon one. Um, don't drop it. Um, this is a gloss carbon. I kind of wanted a, a tinted visor, which would be nice today because it's sunny as hell. Um, I haven't got a tinted visor yet, but it's pin lock capable. Full carbon fiber helmet. It weighs about 1500 grams. This is a large size. Um, so it's not the lightest helmet. It's not my lightest helmet, but it's not heavy in any way. And what I found, what I find is that like, <clears throat> when you strap on a lot of other things that sit off the helmet, I find it causes more weight. Like a big heavy GoPro on the front seems to way more because of the leverage being outside of the helmet but i find that when it's all built in it kind of hides its weight a little bit better but about 1500 grams i believe the, the helmet is but also what this helmet has which i don't know if a lot of other helmets has it has inbuilt lights inside um and you can see these lights and these lights can tell you different things while you're riding and they're actually pretty damn cool i don't know how useful they are but they're, they're just freaking cool like it's straight out of like uh, I don't know, like, it's like you've got a, a HUD or something, and it, it's freaking cool. I've tried them with the navigation, and, and um, I mean, you get, you, the, the guy is telling you when to turn in the helmet, and you can see, like, on my phone, I can see when to turn, but I, I do kind of like the green, like, telling you to go, to go left or right. It's a cool gimmick. I like that. Plus, it comes up when I'm recording, so I can know when I'm recording, um, and it constantly flashes red, so that's really big for me because I hate when like, you know, SD card fails or run out of battery and I'm crapping on for half an hour and I'm not filming anything, but these lights will tell me inside the helmet. And um, so that's a, it's a really cool feature. So that essentially what makes a helmet um, smart. So, and it's all really nicely built in. As you can see, there are no wires anywhere. It's all just inbuilt. So you've got, that's where the SD card is. That's where you charge it um, underneath this little doodad. Um, and then to turn it on is, just there, turn it on. Um, and then you control it with either your phone. Um, there's no real buttons on it other than just the turn on. Um, and to control it, you have a little touchpad, um, which I can kind of reach from my left hand. So that's the volume. They're upside down because it kind of fit better this way. But I've got volume, um, start recording, phone call, um, and navigation, and then the volume up and down. Um, that's just wireless as well, so there's no wires or anything. Um, that's it. That's how you control it. But I, what I've been doing is I've been kind of, I don't know, I probably won't run this um, just because I've always got a quad lock. I've always got my phone um, there anyway, so I can control everything through the app. I'd probably break that, uh, you know, especially on this bike. On a road bike, I think it'd be fine to have that, but um, on a dirt bike or something, I probably don't, probably don't need it. 
Uh, but yeah, what I'll do now is I'll switch to the helmet um, so you can see through that 1080p uh, 60 frame because that's probably the biggest thing about this helmet for me for sure is the camera um, uh, I don't really I hate cables so like other than my vlogging um, helmet that has like obviously a mic and a GoPro set up onto it nor my normal everyday helmet has nothing nothing on it no headset no camera nothing because uh, I hate wires I hate bulk and wires and crap touching my ears and my face and stuff so this helmet's great because it feels like a helmet that's got nothing on it, but it's got everything. It's got all the speakers, it's got the camera. But let's switch to this camera and uh, take it for a ride. Go down this little dirt track, see the canola fields. That's those yellow flowers out there, make canola oil. Um, and some burnt out Toyota Hiaces. And uh, yeah, next shot, that camera. All right. Oh, some Aussie dude just... Another cool thing about this uh, helmet um, is it's designed in Australia. That was one, another reason why I really wanted to try it. Don't have a lot of products designed in Australia other than Quadlock. I mean, look at look at the products that that Australia designs. Quadlock, Barkbusters, and now this. Um, when Australia makes motorcycle products, I think they're generally pretty damn good. So this is another reason why I wanted to try it. But old mates just told me I'm recording, so that's recording. Um, so that's how you can control it in the app. Our navigation is good and like how did it all set it up? It's got my battery 84%, my SD card's 90, 98%. Um, telling me I'm recording, I can set up navigation or do anything. That's the controller. I mean, for a, uh, um, you know, relatively smallish company or something, the app's actually really good. I was actually thoroughly impressed. Um, but this is, this is how the camera is. I don't know how it is. How's the yellow coming up on those canola? flowers um the one thing i worried about the most in inbuilt uh helmet cameras is is the angle of the camera it's very important if you're a motor vlogger you know about getting that angle of the camera it's quite difficult actually like with my gopro setup i have to run like eight different 90 degrees to get the exact camera gopro angle i want um i haven't done anything with this obviously i don't think there is any adjustment it's built in this is the angle i get uh, which is a bit of a worry because like you know super sport bikes i'm like this uh, and dirt bike something like this so that angle might be tricky but I'm on a dirt bike let's try it out hopefully this camera angle is good um, just give it a crack eh that's the main thing oh, try again bah! it's a bit muddy it's been a lot of rain not as much rain as Florida but <clears throat> I'm not in a uh, motorbike gear I'm in Nikes and expensive jeans I don't know what this camera angle is going to look like. Um, oh shit, this is going to be muddy as freak. Regret. Regret. Oh, we might turn around here actually. Um, that'll be enough. Enough dirt. We're not testing how good a KDM 500 is in the dirt. We all know that's good. Um, we're testing this camera. So that was into the sun. This is sun at my back, so this should look a bit nicer. Bridge, just lonely bridge. Ah, the 500 man, what a, what a weapon. How is she looking? Can you hear my voice? Well, I don't know what the mic is like. I've got my helmet up, that's burnt out high ass. We'll have the visor down, give that a test. Nice and fast, standing up. Whoa, just got a butterfly to my face. I don't know if that hit the camera. Try out a wheelie, eh? The wheelie test, how's the camera? Sounds good. Woo! <sighs> All right, so angle of the camera, this is a adventure bike, upright, dirt bike, sitting position. <coughs> I haven't actually tested what this angle, camera angle is like, so um, here's the first test. Uh, this is upright, adventure bike, standard riding position. Uh, this would be like a Ninja 400 or something, uh, sports touring bike, more of a road bike, maybe an MT-10 or something, and then this would be like a super sport. Super Sport's going to look a bit like this, probably. If I remember my old Super Sport uncomfortable days. Uh, so, 
there you go let's see how those camera angles look uh, but let's actually talk about the feel of the helmet it feels light it doesn't feel like I've got music in my ears a camera microphone LED lights and stuff it just feels like a regular carbon fiber helmet man and that's the main freaking thing about this helmet it is just out of the box if you don't want to dick around with running wires sticking on GoPros and putting on bloody speakers and crap you just want to buy a helmet and have all the cool smart features this is what that helmet is man I'll chuck my camera and my phone inside the helmet and show you what the lights look like inside they're cool man uh, it's really bright today it's a really sunny day and I could see them perfectly uh, the the little lights inside the helmet could see them hundred percent even with a face into the Sun right now blinded I can still see the little red light showing me that I'm recording this video so they work beautifully um, I still don't know how useful they're gonna be um, but they they're just freaking cool man if you like RGB on your computer and shit I, I want like an RGB mode I just want rainbow to flow through my helmet I don't know why no use for it there's no use riding a motorcycles for fun anyway man who cares I like them they're freaking cool it's like Tron or some shit having lights in my helmet I don't know I really dig it but yeah that's a uh, helmet uh, visor down let's do visor up see what the wind noise is like see if you can hear me I have no idea what the mic's like for my voice um, I hope that's good imagine just being able to buy a helmet and motor vlog within one minute man came like 80% charge you just take it out of the box get on your motorbike and make videos man um, I don't think there's been a helmet that could do that other than the set of momentum pro which kind of sucked if you've ever watched the videos of that I don't know like centers had good cameras before I had the 10c and shit with had a camera in it and it was decent but they oh god the one they put in the helmet was terrible hopefully it's a wide enough angle I think it's it's a wide angle it's never gonna reach that super view GoPro 170 super view which I really like but um, I think it'll be, it'll be enough for an inbuilt camera ultimate goal would be have 170 like a GoPro I like my cameras to be as wide as possible um, really gives you more to see basically which I really like um, but this is what we're testing how's it looking boys does it look good does it look decent uh, they haven't paid me to say anything about this helmet um, if anything I was really skeptical about any camera inbuilt into the helmet mainly because of that angle that's kind of why I wanted to test it I don't get paid by anyone no one pays me money except subway like one time they gave me money to make a video no one pays me money if this is bad I'm gonna say it's bad but so far it's a good fitting enjoyable helmet um, it's a nice looking carbon fiber helmet it doesn't look dicky you don't even notice that it's got a camera half the time um, there's no wires there's no crap buttons or anything it's just a nice looking carbon fiber helmet with all the cool smart shit inbuilt that's why I like it man that's what I wanted that's why I really wanted to test it out I like how it's an Aussie guy who tells me bloody like yeah mate recording starting champ off you go mate do a freaking wheelie champ that's the guy in the, in the, uh, the, go, the, the, the Bluetooth guy in my helmet telling me I'm starting recording Aussie guy like it but yeah that's the Foresight MK1S I think that's the name um, so this is their new helmet that came, has come out um, it is still just like a road bike helmet um, I would like them to make an adventure helmet that could be pretty cool with a lot of adventure riders and stuff that like inbuilt headphones and cameras and stuff I would fur off for an adventure helmet but yeah that's my quick review I mean I can't really tell I can't really show you the sound quality the sound quality is good it, it's as good as like you know a, you know a center Bluetooth headset um, yeah, 500 bucks or 400 bucks or something it sounds as good as that I think they use the freaking same speakers the Harman Kardon speakers they sound very decent for now I'm gonna stop recording and put some tunes on because it's been a long time since I've ridden uh, none of my helmets have speakers in them currently I have not ridden with music in a long time because I hate speakers and wires in my helmet so I just ripped them all out this is the first time I've had music in my helmet and I've missed it man it's fun so I'm gonna stop recording I'm gonna pump some freaking tunes and enjoy riding KDM 500 EXE on the road because it just feels silly. <laughs>